What's up guys, I'm Tash and this is Tash Tech and today I got an unboxing of a, uh, a 3D printer that I purchased recently from Hobby King. I'm sure you guys all know what I'm talking about. It is the Tiny Boy. Yeah, the little miniature 3D printer. I was looking at getting an M3D and I thought, mm, I wasn't too happy with the M3D reviews and I thought the Tiny Boy is pretty cool. So I went on to Hobby King. At the time when I went on, they didn't have any and I kept checking back and eventually they did have. And what I found out was that they had a bunch, they released them, they weren't happy with a few issues that they were having. So they stopped manufacturing it, fixed the process, the, the, the manufacturing process uh, and a few other things and then re and put it back on and was lucky when I got onto Hobby King and I saw them and I purchased one because the very next day when I went to go buy another one, they were all sold out. So I got one sent with the South African post office. I bought about a month ago and I got it yesterday. So yeah, but pretty good. So we're just going to open it up quick, have a quick look at it, um, what's in the box and then we'll do a, a good review later on. Okay. It's not a big printer. It's called the Tiny Boy for a reason. Um, it was manufactured as an open source project to get printers into schools and things like that. So everything is open source from what I understand. Okay, so we've got some packing in there. Oh, and I also bought a toolkit because I'm planning on leaving this at my office. Because uh, I have all my printers here and I don't have one in my office and I like to tinker. This is a pretty cool toolkit. And I paid, I think I paid $19 for it, but I didn't actually pay for it because I went and I searched for coupon codes before I purchased it. So I'm just gonna do a quick opening of the toolkit. We've got a little uh, point nose pliers in there. Nice little case as well, I like the case. Kapton tape, that's so cool. It's a 3D printing uh, toolkit. I mean, it's not your average run of the mill crappy toolkit, right? Uh, side, side cutters right there. Set of screwdrivers. They have a flat, a star, two flats and two Phillips. One big one, one small of each. Oh, this is what I like. The Allen key sets, but with the with the, the, the nice handle. So I've got a set of those. I might actually buy another one of these because I'm really liking this toolkit. A wire brush, some spanners that she'll need. Not too sure what's in here. Oh, a pair of nice little tweezers. That is so cool. Japanese quality tweezers, nochal. All right, put all this stuff back in there. Let's get to the tiny boy, the big guy. That's cool. I'm gonna love this toolkit. I love it. All right, the tiny boy. So that's how it's packed. Just got some. Some packing on the side here, which I'll get rid of. And boom, out it comes. I'm pretty surprised that I actually have a printer here because it's South African post office and they're known to steal things, whether they know what it is or not. Like underwear, yeah. They've actually stolen underwear and replaced it with the bricks. <laughs> Liz will tell you that story. <laughs> Gee, it's gonna take a while to cut this open. Just open it. Well, it's very good packing. It's coming all the way from Singapore, so. And it's coming with South African Post Office. I, I, I can, I, I can, I'm sure you guys can tell, I, I, I very strongly dislike South African Post Office. Anyone wants bubble wrap? Leave a comment below, and I'll I'll send you this bubble wrap. Your shipping, not mine. Boom. The Tenegi Fabricator Mini, aka Tiny Boy. Okay, that's what it looks like. Nice box. I'm gonna slice that open there. All right, first things first, a little piece of 1.75 black filament. I'm not too sure if it's PLA, ABS, PET, PEEK, EPG, I don't give a shit. Looks like some manuals and stuff. Yeah. 
That looks like a, <laughs> looks like a, like painter's tape, like a sheet of painter's tape. Interesting. Oh, let's take this box out on the side here. It's a little box here with power supply, the power brick. I just want to see if it's rated for South Africa and it is rated for South Africa. USB cable there. Uh, what are these? Looks like some, like these are little acrylic blocks. I think they could be the feet. I think they could be the feet. Um, it's nice that they have double-sided tape now, so you can stick them on. Previously, they didn't have double-sided tape. It was just kind of placed there. <laughs> and people were complaining. All right, let's get to the, the, the big guy, tiny boy here. Thank you. Why do we get this on? Slide that off there. Do the same on this side. It is a very small printer. <laughs> Don't let the box fool you. Uh, a power cable, a kettle cord. This is the extruder here, which is, it's actually mounted on it. That's pretty cool. <laughs> this is a, it's amazing. <laughs> That's what this printer is. Okay, so that's the Tiny Boy printer. Just trying to figure out how to get these things off here. So you slide that out there. I think you'll just have to like slip this throat here. Pull that out there. Slide this out there. And then I'll read the instructions and see what else we need to do. But it's very, it's a very strong piece, uh, piece of machinery. I mean, the extruder is basically metal. Um, it's very cool. It's <laughs> I wanted a little, a very small printer. Then I was thinking of building one myself. And after costing it, um, yeah, it should not cheaper to just buy this one. And uh, I like the color because you can get it in, in clear acrylic orange or this green and I went for the green um, It doesn't have a heated bed obviously I'm not too sure if it should I don't think it I don't think they do come with heated beds because it's PLA you don't really need it and These little stepper motors. They're so small. Look at them. They're tiny. Look from underneath <laughs> Look at those tiny little stepper motors Got it. This small thing, it fits on my hand. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, stepper drivers all built in. It's an NKS base board, okay. Uh, version 1.4, I haven't seen a 1.4, I've seen a 1.2, I've got 1.2s. Uh, that's pretty cool. It's all built in stepper drivers as well, that's awesome. Uh, it's got a section for your screen there, your LCD screen. But it didn't come with one. Maybe I was supposed to choose one extra, I don't know. But it's all right, I have tons. I'll just plug one in there and see if it works. What's cool about it is, is it looks like it has a E3D V6 hot end in there. A full E3D V6. So that's awesome, all right? And then you've got your Bowden. Bowden connector, PTE, EFT, PTFE tubing in here, which I'm assuming will go in over there or over here, I'm not too sure. On your extruder somewhere, I'll have, to, I'll have to look and see which way it's turning. And then it'll feed in your filament from the other end. Uh, it's got this tiny little lead screw there, or a threaded rod rather. Very small, uh, very, very tiny um, end stop switches. <laughs> a little tiny belt as well. I don't know, where would you even find these tiny things? Anyway, it's like a miniature printer and that's that. So. Tiny boy, I'll give you guys a full review, but this is it. It's so cool, it's so cute, it's tiny. The Turnigy Mini Fabricator, aka, AKA Tiny Boy. Okay, and that's that. All right, 
Cool. Enjoy, guys. I'll see you next time. Uh, hit me up on Facebook. Leave a comment below if you want me to do anything with this thing or anything at all. Leave a comment below and I'll, I'll try and reply to it. Facebook, Instagram at Angry Tash. The links on this, the social links are in the box below. Thanks for watching.